The Gingerbread Man, retold by Bonnie Dobkin and illustrated by Paula Pertil. Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman owned a little old bakery. They baked cakes and pies and breads and muffins and popovers so light they almost floated. But what they loved to make most were gingerbread cookies. They made gingerbread boys and gingerbread girls, gingerbread rabbits and gingerbread squirrels, gingerbread cats and gingerbread dogs, gingerbread homes made from gingerbread logs. I know, said the little old woman one day, let's make a gingerbread man to put in our bakery window. That's a wonderful idea, said the little old man. They mixed up some flour and butter and eggs, enough for a body, two arms and two legs. They rolled the dough flat with an old rolling pin and laid out the shapes in a big baking tin. Then they popped the cookie into the oven and waited. A wonderful aroma filled the room. The little old woman and the little old man sniffed it and sighed. Suddenly there was a rattling and a clattering. Let me out, cried an odd little voice from inside the oven. Let me out now. The little old woman flung open the door and out popped the gingerbread man. You're alive, asked the little old man. You can talk, said the little old woman. Yes, said the gingerbread man, and I can run away from you. Goodbye, he dashed out the front door. The little old man and the little old woman chased after him. Wait, come back. We begged you to put you in our window. But the gingerbread man just laughed. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And just watch me prove it, he yelled. The gingerbread man dashed down the middle of the street. He ran by a policeman and stuck out his tongue. Hey, said the policeman, waving his nightstick. You can't insult an officer of the law. Then he, smiled, then he smelled the wonderful gingerbread smell. But you would make a wonderful snack. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the old woman. I ran away from the old man. And I can run away from you too. Oh, yes, I can. I can. On the very edge of town, the gingerbread man passed a mangy dog eating out of a garbage can. He kicked the can as he raced by. Yow! yelled the dog, pulling his head out of the can. Now that was just plain mean. Then he sniffed it, the wonderful gingerbread smell. Wait! said the dog. You taste a lot better than garbage. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! I ran away from a little old woman. I ran away from a little old man. I ran away from a man of the law with a big stick in his hand. I'm the fastest thing on the gingerbread feet. And the next part of my plan is to run, run, run far away from you too. Oh yes, I can, I can. Now the gingerbread man ran out of town and into a field where a horse and cow gr were grazing. He zoomed up to them, yanked their tails, and ran away. Ouch! yelled the horse. Nasty creature! cried the cow. Then they sniffed it, the wonderful gingerbread smell. No, wait! Come back! You'd be much tastier than grass. But the gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from a man of the law on a dog in a garbage can. I'm the fastest thing on gingerbread feet and the next part of my plan is to run, run, run far away from you too. Oh yes, I can, I can. 
Suddenly, the gingerbread man came to a wide river. He stopped. He knew water and cookies don't mix. You look worried, said a voice. The gingerbread man looked up. A fox stood smiling at him. I'm worried, said the gingerbread man. You see, I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from a man of the law and a dog in a garbage can. I ran away from a very mad horse and I ran away from a silly old cow. I've run too far and I've run too fast to let them catch me now. Climb on my back, said the fox, stepping into the river. I'll carry you across. Oh, no, you don't, said the gingerbread man, jumping back. You just want to eat me too. I don't even like cookies, said the fox. Just climb on my tail. It's as far away from my mouth as you can get. All right, said the gingerbread man. That seems safe, and he hopped on the fox's tail. The fox moved into the river. After a time, he grunted. You know, my tail is getting very tired. Would you mind moving to my back? No problem, said the gingerbread man. Halfway across the river, the water got deeper. You know, said the fox, I think you'd, much be, you'd be much safer on my shoulders. You may be right, said the gingerbread man, and he moved again. Now they were at the deepest part of the river. Even my shoulders may not be high enough, said the fox. Then I'll get on your head, said the gingerbread man, and he climbed between the fox's ears. Finally, they reached the far side of the river. Ha! said the gingerbread man. I told them all they'd never catch me. Thank you, Mr. F Flip! The fox tossed back his head. Snap! He caught the gingerbread man in his jaws. Crunch! That was the end of the gingerbread man. The fox sat under a tree licking the crumbs from his lips. He was the fastest thing on the gingerbread feet. It's a shame I ruined his plan. But that, I'm afraid, is what happens to every tasty gingerbread man.